All right, welcome to June 2016 on SprayPaintArtSecrets.com. This month, we're going to focus on those things you always wanted to paint. We're gonna start off with a gorgeous, natural-looking jungle that you can do in just a short amount of time, and we're going to use some tools you may not have used before. Um, these are things that you can get at Walmart or a hardware store or a department store somewhere in the United States or in other countries. Uh, you may have overlooked them. And we're going to show you how to cut them up into the right shapes and use them to create all kinds of bushes and how to create all kinds of jungle effects using just newspaper and different kinds of sponges and different things you find in your local store. And I'm going to go into how to create the land that has lots of grass and beautiful uh, colors and flowers on it, the different kinds of things you can use to make those grasses and flowers look really natural and make them very, very quickly. So think about what kind of jungles you would like to be painting, maybe collect some pictures and think about how you might go about doing that using these techniques. And to expand your abilities even further, we're going to go into Chinese landscape techniques. And I love the tools that you can use to make these Chinese landscapes. One of those tools is a dish scrubby. It's that green thing that you use to scrub your pots. It makes absolutely gorgeous Chinese landscape style shapes. And we're going to go into detail about how to use that as a tool to make very quick landscapes using spray paint art. And these techniques are easily transferable to any kind of acrylic painting. Chinese landscape style is just a, so full of ideas that can transfer to spray paint art and I am enjoying exploring that and sharing that with you. So next we're going to do an aurora on a winter's night with some beautiful mountains. Now many of you have emailed me asking how do I do an aurora and also many of you have asked how do I do the mountains very quickly and make them look natural. So we're going to do both of those things in this painting and more. We're also going to do some gorgeous pine trees using a whole bunch of different tools and some cool effects in the sky like the planets and the stars and the nebula. So there's lots to learn in this one. This is a really special one. And then we're going to go in depth on how to make fish underwater that look natural and three-dimensional and interesting. Now this same technique that I'm teaching you here, this was actually coming, this is actually coming from the original spray paint artist of Mexico, Ruben Sadot. His techniques have been modified to be able to basically paint anything. And this modification was done by me and by Paloma Coronado and some other people. We worked on this intensely for a lot of years to be able to create all kinds of forms and designs using the original spray paint art techniques. So we're going to teach you how to do those fish and you'll be able to take that in to do anything. And then one of uh, my most requested uh, video instructions is how to make a magic castle. So in this painting, I'm going to show you how to make a magic castle in space. We're going to have a gorgeous nebula behind it when I'm going to show you step by step how to create that nebula and the castle in front. And then there's also going to be a magic tree on the side and all kinds of foliage and roots and fun things that you can explore and use in your own artwork. So come to spraypaintartsecrets.com and sign up as a basic or gold member. These videos will be available to basic members in June 2016 and gold members have always have access to a huge library of spray paint art techniques over 300 videos including all of these will be posted on june 1st and so many more questions comments my name is alisa amor email me at spraypaintartsecrets at gmail.com and i'd be so happy to get your emails and thankful for your questions and i will answer them see you inside ciao